Oh, good afternoon. I'm just getting some data out of the daily BMS using one of these little tiny boards here. It is, it's a 8266 board. It's a little Wi-Fi board and what it is, it actually transmits MQTT um, data to a MQTT broker, which I've got an Emon Pi to do that. It actually plugs into the UART port, uh, is powered by the actual UART port, and then you've got uh, transmit and receive data out of the, out of the two pins, uh, and uh, it looks to be uh, functioning quite well. This is the actual web page that it creates. Uh, when you first log into it after putting the software in, you've got to go to 192.168.4.1 after you find the Wi-Fi access point that it actually creates. And uh, what ends up being, I will uh, show you a little bit of the configuration for the MQTT uh, Emon Pi. This is the Emon Pi um, for the M. QTT um, setup uh, with password and username, which is the standard password for the Emon Pi data logging. And uh, I'll show you actually uh, the next bit. Now, this is the input log to my MQTT uh, uh, Emon Pi, and you can see where I've actually set it up so I can log uh, the data. It'll cycle every so many seconds, it'll get a, a new lot of data and then we'll go from uh, that's the uh, inputs and then uh, we'll have a look at the feeds now this is the feed page uh, on the Emon Pi and uh, show you the data logging that it actually can do I'm actually uh, pack voltage peak current state of charge uh, BMS temperature and so forth um, that's the actual data uh, there um, as it displays it, I will uh, show you how it produces a, um, a graph within the Emon Pi. Now this is the uh, graphs that it actually produces on the uh, Emon Pi device from uh, openenergy.org. I've only just set it up, uh, it's only been running for what, uh, probably about 15 minutes and it will show you the, the graphs um, that it actually produces on each cell. You can see actually each cuddle that's plotted and uh, the millivolts um, that actually each one of those in comparison to the uh, to the graph on the other side. I'm using Visual Studio uh, to actually um, write to the program. I download the program from the GitHub uh, website and you can see there um, all the uh, files that have been put into it, you can actually see some of the some of the setup uh, on that side of things. Now this is the uh, part of the programming uh, on the platform I/O, and what ends up being it's already built into the actual code when you download it from GitHub. It'll show you there um, the Expressi 8266 is the actual processor. Uh, the COM port, when you actually plug the little um, Expressi in, it uh, goes to, it makes a COM port on the computer. You just got to make sure you select the right COM port um, in relation to when you actually start downloading the, um, the program onto the board, which is only just a little USB cord from the computer to the little board, uh, is how it gets there. This is the site where I actually download the uh, software, GitHub. It's a very good uh, open source um, source for code and stuff like that. So you actually download uh, the code, which is right there. Um, yeah, this is where I actually got it from. It has a little bit of a, an explanation thing if you scroll down a bit further uh, of what four wires is all that's required to go onto the daily BMS, two power, and one uh, transmit and one receive data into the UART port of the uh, BMS.